Hello everyone, Ben here. Just thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to get Oculus Touch working in Unity. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to the downloads page of the uh, Oculus Developers website and grab, uh, where is it, Oculus Utilities for Unity 5. Um, that will contain the uh, Unity package with all the scripts that you need. Um, so just got an empty scene here. Um, first thing we want to do is make sure that we've got uh, VR enabled. So uh, project settings and player. Um, so here we go. Once we've got this uh, tick box uh, checked, um, we should find that straight away if we play the scene. There we go. I've got. I'm wearing the Rift at the moment, so we can see we're moving around. There we go. All good. Um, so. What we want to do now is basically the first thing first thing we want to do is create a empty game object and we'll call this the player um, and we will drag the main camera onto here and the reason why we want to do this is that we want to group the main camera which is basically your your virtual head we want to group that with your hands so now let's make the hands um, so we're going to create a 3D object and we're just going to make some cubes at the moment. You can make these look as fancy as you like um, once you've got everything working. But for now, we're just going to make them cubes uh, and we will make them 0.1 scale, which is about 10 centimeters. Uh, which I guess that's the size of a fist, isn't it? Maybe. So let's call this right hand. Yeah. So that, that should be about the size of a hand, that should work. Um, so now we want to import that Unity package that we just downloaded. So let's go assets, import package, custom package. And then I've got it, already got it here. Let's import that. Now this package contains a bunch of stuff. It's got uh, uh, demo scenes and stuff in it and we don't really need it, uh, all of it. So I'm just gonna untick up here and then just select scripts. The main one that we want is this OVR input one and maybe some of the haptics later on, uh, but might as well just grab everything because you don't know what depends on what else, you know, so let's grab these. Uh, and then now it's time to make our own script. So I'm just gonna create a folder called scripts. Pin UC sharp script, and we're going to call this touch controller. Oh, cool. okay. Now, if you go, I've actually got the website open. Um, where was it? Yeah. If you go to the developer center in uh, the Oculus developer center and go down to OVR input here. It pretty much explains everything that you need to know to get the controllers working in Unity, but I'm just gonna take you through it. Uh, I had it highlighted up here. It's the most important one is the get local controller position. So that's what we're gonna use um, to uh, determine where this cube fist is gonna be in our scene. Um, so let's go back to here. Right, so we don't need a start function for now. In our update, we're gonna go Transform dot local position equals, and then this is where we're going to use our OVR script that we just imported. OVR input. See, we can see it. It already appears up here. Dot get. What was it? Get local local controller controller position. There we go. And then in here, it's going to want to know which controller to get the local position of. Um, so we're going to go OVR input dot controller dot L. No, there we go. R touch. So that's so R touch is the name of the right touch controller. Um, so we've got that, and then we're just going to do the same thing for the rotation. Rotation, and then rotation. Save this and then let's go back to Unity. Hopefully that'll compile without any complaints. 
kind of come here. Okay, now let's play and see what happens. Right, hang on, hang on, where are we? We're incredibly far away. That's because <laughs> main camera, oh, right hand is paired up. That's what we wanted to do. And we want to go, they both zeroed. Zero these. That shouldn't make any effect, but I liked it to be zero. Let's try that again. There we go. There's my right hand or my right cube. Cool. So now let's get the left one working. So we could create a new script and then change the uh, change these to L touch, but instead I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let you choose up here. So I'm gonna go uh, public uh, OVR input dot controller. So that's basically this. We're gonna create a public one of these, and then you'll get to choose which one it is. And then so we're just gonna call this controller. And then in here, we'll just go controller and the same in here. Right, save that. Let's go back. Where are we? Right hand, right. So, so now this has changed. It should update the script here. There we go. So controller, and then this will basically show you all of the different types that this controller can be. So we're going to go R touch for the right hand. And then we're just going to duplicate that. And go uh, uh, left hand. And then on the left hand, the touch controller script, we're going to choose L touch. So let's save that. Oh no, don't need to save it. Let's play. Now, whee, my cube hands, done. Hope that helped. Bye.